So going guys, Root Junkie here. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Nexus 6 and pretty much any Nexus, if you're doing what I'm just gonna show you, we're gonna be able to flash custom ROMs with basically one click. This even does a backup, it does everything. Very, very simple process, so let's go check this out. We are in the Nexus Root Toolkit once again with my Nexus 6 and we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to flash custom ROMs using the Nexus Root Toolkit. It totally automates everything and it's a really really nice feature. So let's go ahead and get into this. First things first, make sure you have your model and build number stuff set up right here. Make sure you have your drivers installed. Again I've covered these things in other videos so I'm not going to cover them here. Then you're just going to go also, sorry, also you're going to have to have an unlocked bootloader, again, covered in other videos. So you're going to go into Advanced Utilities and hit Launch. From here, you're going to go right to this little section right here. And this is Flash Zips, Slash Rounds, Gaps, etc. And this is either if the files are on your SD card or on your computer. Mine are on my computer, so I'm going to go ahead and click that button. And then click Flash Zips. All right, and then it just talks about doing this, yada, yada, yada. Other thing I would highly recommend is a lot of zips now and a lot of files um, for your device have encryption turned off. I just did a video on turning off encryption on Lollipop devices. So make sure you check that video out and turn off encryption before you start flashing some of these custom rounds because they already have it default turned off and it can give you errors and problems if you don't do that. All right, so from here, it's quite easy and simple to do. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to check this one, and that actually checks everything. So it's, what it's going to do is it's going to automatically do an Android backup for you. It is going to encrypt the back, or um, enable compression for the backup. It's going to then wipe your device, data, cache, and Delvic, do which is what you need to do when, anytime you install a new ROM. Um, you can uncheck these if you don't want to do these options, but it's just easy to do it this way. And then you're going to add the zips. So really quickly, I'm going to show you guys that I have gotten zips from right here. This is what we're going to install, Pure Shamu. And I downloaded the ROM, the Google applications, and the root file. So you can read the form here. I'll link it in the video description if you want to do the exact same ROM that I'm doing. So I'm going to hit Add to Zip. And I already have it landing where I have my ROM set up. It for you might be in downloads. So I'm going to select the ROM. Then I'm going to add another zip. And I'm going to select the Google Applications. And add another zip and select SuperSU for root access. And that's it, guys. From here, it's going to be super, super simple. Like I said, make sure you have your encryption turned off with the toolkit. Watch the previous video. Drivers all set up. And your ROM you want to flash to your device. From here, it's very, very simple. You just hit the confirm operation and it is completely automated from here. So let's go ahead and do this. So again, we get another check with what it's doing, all the backups it's doing, the wipes it's doing, and the flashing that it's going to do. One thing I want to note before I hit OK is that you don't even have to have custom recovery installed to do this. This will temporarily boot Torp recovery for you and do it that way. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And we're going to let this thing run through. I like to see the status over here of what's going on. Now it says I don't have ADB working at this very second. So what I found to do if you have the same problem is just come in here and toggle it to this device, media device, toggle it back to camera, go back to your home screen, hit OK, and then Let's see if you get it. So there you go. It got ADB working again. And from here, you can see what it's going to do. Um, basically, the first thing it does is it pushes all of the files on your computer, the three uh, zips that you're flashing, to the device. Because they're on your computer, they're not on the device. It has to flash them from the device. So it pushes them over to the device. Once it's done doing that, it's going to go ahead and it's going to boot a modified boot image and that's going to allow it to have privileged commands to set up a Torp script. Then it's going to temporarily boot Torp recovery. 
and it's going to use that script to do the backups, to do um, to do the, the ROM flash, and then your device is going to reboot, and you'll be done. You'll have your backup, and you'll have your recover uh, your ROM flashed. It's that simple. Literally, from this point on, you don't touch anything. It is completely automated. I'd suggest walk away, come back in 25 minutes, and check out the new ROM you have installed. So let's go ahead and just let this run. All right, the ROM got flashed or pushed, I should say, to the device. Now it's pushing the Google applications, and then it'll push Super Sue Zip, and we'll boot into recovery. So let's go ahead and check this out here. Here we go, and pushing Super Sue, um, which should go ahead and then reboot the device, and to bootloader mode. Mm -hmm. And I, I gotta say, I absolutely do love this live log. It's a beautiful thing. It tells you everything and just lays it all out for you to make this process quite simple and easy to do. So here it's booting that modified boot image to uh, enable running privileged commands. Mm -hmm. And that's when it sets up the Twerp recovery script that it's going to run once Twerp is temporarily booted to the mm -hmm. device. So we do have to boot up one more time right here. There you go. Like I said, shouldn't uh, require anything. You shouldn't have to touch anything. Just totally leave it alone. It's going to do the whole thing. So there you go. It's pushing the script generated, open recovery script, which is going to do everything once Torp Recovery boots. Again, we're rebooting to bootloader so we can temporarily boot Torp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. And again, it does its checks, which is fast boot. Very good and device connected and now it's doing that boot torp recovery temporarily and there is uh, recovery so system backup is what it's going to do first which is going to take probably 10-15 minutes so we're going to kind of just let it be here and let it do its thing and actually at this point I'm pretty sure the uh, script is completely done on the Nexus Root Toolkit. So we'll just watch the phone from here. Quick note for this backup location, it's going to be in Data Media Zero Twerp Backups and then um, another folder and then the name of the backup, which is auto-generated with the date and time and all that kind of good stuff. So that's where that's going to be located on your device. You can always access it um, from Twerp Recovery, or I'm pretty sure you can use the Nexus Root Toolkit to restore that backup if needed from bootloader mode. So let's just let this thing run. Well guys, I gotta say, with encryption turned off, the backup process is super fast. Um, way, 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 way quicker once you have that encryption turned off, which is kind of a prerequisite of flashing this ROM. So that only took about three minutes to do that in Android backup, and we're already wiped data, we're flashing everything. We're actually almost done with this whole process. There it is. Wow, that is a beautiful thing. So that is the process to flash around and create an Android backup. We just did both things, and it actually only took, man, shoot, about five minutes. So this is going to be first boot up for pure Shamu, the ROM that I chose to install which has that encryption turned off defaultly in the ROM. But like I said, we need to actually turn it off before we flash it or else you're gonna get some errors on first boot up. So let's just let this first boot up happen and I'm gonna jump through a ROM uh, kind of setup. I'll go over the ROM just for a quick second and we'll wrap it up. All right, here's pure Shamu. I'm gonna go ahead and just skip through it. Unfortunately, device policy has stopped. Don't know why it gave me that little error, but we're gonna just kind of skip through all this stuff and skip, skip, skip to my roo. Boy, why am I singing that song? I have no idea. And finish just to get through all of the startup. Got it. All right. So here is the initial startup, and we'll just take a quick look. You got some cameras in here. You have your super user right there. Very minimal uh, Google applications but you can get all the other ones you might want from the Play Store. And um, we'll just quickly shoot down here. And look, we have uh, Hotspot already activated right there. I know that works for Verizon and AT&T, which is really nicely. Flashlight, um, cast screen, 
invert colors, very cool, little quick toggles are very nice in this uh, ROM. And then lastly, that's really nice, I know you have a reboot menu. So you go reboot, you have reboot and you have uh, power off and airplane mode. So you have a couple menus there. I think you can activate other ones once you get into uh, settings. But just to show you what this is built on, right there, Nexus 5 build number is that 21V test key. And last but not least, there is some pure settings right there. So maybe I'll do a full video on this ROM later with all of its features. But for now, that is how you use the Nexus Root Toolkit to create your Android backup and to flash your ROM. Now, this thing has a file manager. Let's see, it does not. I would show you where that ROM was located on the device, but that's okay. Um, there you go. That is pure ROM installed with the Nexus Root Toolkit. Hope you guys like this video. Again, like I said, you can shut out all the windows on the toolkit. You are done with it, and you have your backup and your awesome new ROM very simply, seamlessly, without any problems whatsoever. Hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more on the Nexus Root Toolkit on my Nexus 6. But remember, these processes all work on all Nexus devices, basically, that are available because the Nexus Root Toolkit covers them all. So stay tuned for that, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.